Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 16th MongoDB for beginners tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can nest our sub documents. Okay, so in the last tutorial, what did we do? We went ahead and created a model for our author and that author model encompassed two schemas. We had a schema for the author itself with the name, age and books and then within this books right here, we had a schema for the books themselves. So they have a structure as well, which is why we created a schema for them. So in this tutorial, what we're going to do is go ahead and create a test, a mocker test, which is going to test creating some authors and adding those sub documents to them. And by the way, when I talk about sub documents, I'm on about these things right here. These things that we're nesting within the author. OK, so in the last tutorial, we created this model and we exported it right there. So let's go ahead now and create a new test. So I'll right click there, new file, and I'm going to call this nesting underscore test.js. And instead of copy and pasting for once, I'm going to write this out from scratch. So the first thing we need to do is require a few things. So I'll say const assert. This is for our assert statement later on. That's going to be equal to require. And this is going to be assert. After that, I'm going to say const mongoose set that equal to require and we want mongoose and then finally i want the author model so i'll say const author capital a equals require and we need to pass an absolute path to this so it's going to be double dot forward slash models forward slash author okay so now we can go ahead and use this thing in this file so let's describe our tests. So we'll do a describe block and we'll say nesting records. And then we need a function which is going to fire. And we'll do our it blocks down here. So we'll say create tests and our first it block and it's going to be it create an author with sub hyphen documents and we need a function to fire for this test we're going to pass done through because we're going to use that later on that's to let mocker know that we've done with this test later so what do we want to do well first of all we want to create a new author so i'm going to say var pat equals new author like so and then within here let's just scoot it along within here we need to pass through those properties so I'm going to give them a name uh, that's going to be Patrick Rothfuss I think I spelled that correctly and then we're also going to pass through some books like so and then this is an array remember of objects of book objects so all we need to do is pass through the properties of this book object right there so we can say title is going to be name of the wind and the number of pages, which is a number, we'll just say 400. And there we go. That there will create a new author and it's nesting this sub document within it. All right. Pretty cool. So now what we want to do is save that to the database. So we need to say pat and then we'll say dot save. And remember, this is an asynchronous request. So we're gra grabbing this author, we're saving it to the database, but we don't know how long it's going to take. So we do dot then, and then pass through a function into this, like so. So then this function is only going to fire once this action is complete. And then once we've done that, what we want to do is actually go out and find the author. We want to make sure it's saved to the database so we can test it in our assert statement. So we'll say author dot find one. We've seen all this before when we've found documents in previous tutorials and we're going to find it by the name. So we'll say name is Patrick Rothfuss. Make sure I've spelled those the same. Yep. OK. And then what we want to do is say dot then function. And again, this thing here is asynchronous. We don't know how long it's going to take to find it. So we're waiting till it's found it and we're saying dot then once you have found it, fire this function and give me the record that you found within that function. Yeah, 
So now what we can do is say assert that the record that we found dot books dot length is equal to one. Okay, so we're making sure that it has this sub document. Okay, because this is the books property right here on the record and the length of that, this is just a JavaScript method right here or property rather to give us the length of that array. And there's only one object in it, so it should be a length of one. So then we can say done and save it. So if we run this test now, let's come to the command and run npm run test, then hopefully this should work. And whoop whoop, there we go. Looks like we've got seven passes. And where's our nesting records? Right there. Big green tick, create an author with sub documents. So this is working. But let us just have a look at RoboMongo. I'm going to go to collections and I'm do uh, double click again to refresh it. Then we can see this new authors collection right there. Double click that and we have this object which has been saved with a name of Patrick Rothfuss. Awesome. So we have now created a new author with some nested data. We've saved that to the database and then we've tested it right here. That's all very cool, but I wanna do one more test. So let me just come down below here and create a new it block. And this time, this is gonna add a book to an existing author. So this is already gonna exist. Then we want to add a new book to it. So it adds a book to an author. Cool. And then we're going to say function pass through done again. So we can let Mocha know when we've done later. And then in here, we're going to do our second test to do that. So again, we're going to create Pat, the author, in here and save it to the database first so that we can then go out, grab it, and add a new book to it. All right. So I'm going to copy this dude right here because this only created it for this test. So let's copy it, paste it here. And yeah, we could have done this outside and, you know, done the before each, etc., and added the author in then and then drop the database. In fact, we will drop the database in a minute. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just doing it inside the separate it blocks. So in this one now, we've created a new author, again called Patrick Rothfuss. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to add a new book to it. So first of all, we're going to save this. So I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say pat.save dot then if we can spell that correctly dot then then we pass in a function here and this function is going to fire once the book is successfully saved and inside this we're going to say author dot find one again and I'm just going to copy this thing right here in fact like so because it's all the same so author find one, we're going to find it by the name of Patrick Rothfuss, then we're going to fire a function with the record returned to us, like so. So, inside this function, what do we want to do? We want to add a book to the books collection, right? Or the books array. Doesn't really matter, these are just words. So, we want to add a book to the books array right here. How are we going to do that? Well, it's pretty simple. All we need to do is grab the record, which is returned to us, first of all. And then we're going to say dot books, which gives us this books array right here. And then we can say dot push. This is just a JavaScript method, which pushes a new object onto the array. And then we pass through the properties here. So I'm going to say title is going to be wise man's fear. Oops. Tell you what, let's uh, pop this in double quotes so that we can have that single thing there, okay? And the pages is gonna be 500. All right, so now we've created this, or rather we've added this new book object onto the books array right here, okay? So we've manipulated that data. And then what we can do is we can say record, and remember this record still refers to the record which is returned to us. So what we've done is changed it in such that we've added a new book onto the books array right here. So now we can say record.save and that is going to go out and it's going to save this record back to the database with this new book added in. Cool, right? So because this is asynchronous, I'm going to say dot then. So when this book has successfully saved, 
what we want to do is go out and find the book again so it's returned to us and make sure that new book has been added on that's what the test is going to be so let us say author dot find one and the name is what we're going to search by and it's going to be Patrick Rothfuss then once we've got that we're firing another uh, another function with the record or the result whatever you want to call this here so the result right here is going to be what's returned to us when we find this record again and what we want to do now is assert that this result that we've just got dot books dot length is going to be equal to two because we've added on that extra book here makes sense right and then we can say done cool so now what we've done in each test we've created a new author now if we run this again it's just going to keep creating authors and adding them in and they're all going to be called Patrick Rothfuss we don't want that so what we're going to do is a before each hook up here which is going to drop the database so let's do before each and then in here we're going to do a function with the done parameter so we can say to mocker when we've done this and it can move on to the tests and then within this we want to drop the author's collection so we can start afresh each time so to do that all we need to say is mongoose dot connection dot collections and that gives us a reference to all our collections we want the author's collection remember mongoose pluralizes it so author's collection and we're going to drop that and then within this drop method we're going to have a callback function when it's completed and in that function we can then say done and that's going to move on so it's going to drop the database first run this test which we did a minute ago drop the database then run this test creating a new author with one book then we're saving it to the database then we're finding it again then we're updating it by saying record which is returned to us dot books this array push this new object onto it a new book then we're saving it again then we're finding it again by the name and then we return that result and that result dot books dot length should equal two because we've added one to it so that's what we're testing for so let's save this and run it again npm run test and awesome we have eight passing and in nesting records we can see this one creates an author with sub documents and also adds a book to an author top stuff so that is how we nest sub documents and i know a lot of this is starting to look like a triangle of doom but uh, i just wanted to go through each step individually to show you exactly what i was doing for this test and we've used a few different mongoose methods along the way so hopefully this will help compound them into your brain so there we go guys we've just about reached the end of this tutorial series on mongodb but i will be doing a couple more series which are going to be using mongodb in the future just wanted to get this one out there first the first one i'm going to be doing pretty soon is a rest api tutorial and i'm going to be using node.js and mongodb in that so stay tuned for that one and then later down the line i'm also going to be doing a series on authentication with mongodb as well so until then i really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial series i hope it's taught you something new please don't forget to share subscribe and like the videos if you enjoy them and i'm going to see you in the very next series